I started my business with like a real kind of fuck it, I have nothing to lose idea. I got fired from every job I ever had. I was sleeping with everybody in the office. I found myself at 27, unemployed, unemployable, and I was like, I guess I'm gonna try to be a potter. I've done a terrible job of branding myself because nobody knows I'm a potter, but that's my most authentic self. And I think being a potter has really informed all of my design work because I definitely have an understanding of how stuff is made. When I started, there was nothing, me and clay. And it's like my world has gone like from this to like this, and it's crazy. When I got a little taste of some success, I was like, this is intoxicating, I gotta keep this up. I'm just gonna work like an animal. But what I do just takes a really long time. I have an idea for a product and it'll take a year to get it into my physical world, perhaps. Like that banana. That banana. Yeah, that's a good year from like brain to reality. It's maddening. It is absolutely maddening. Oh, hello, Janine. Oh, hi, Jonathan. How are you? I'm good. I'm liking that it has that like YSL 70s vibe. It does. That is sassy. It's really weird because I have a real company now. Like, never occurred to me that I would be responsible for all these people. Unfortunately, some of the people are in the room, so I'm reticent to be sincere, but I will be for a moment. It's kind of incredible. I feel somewhat parental, and my job is super social. I come to work every day, and it is a scream. We shriek with laughter. Is that true, Ryan? It's kind of true. Whoa. Of Whoa. <laughs> it's very organic and loosey-goosey, and I try to keep it that way. It's the en vogue paradigm, for your mind and the rest will follow. I feel like if I were too structured, it would all fall apart. Picture. <laughs> I see all these kids today who like, come out of school and are like, here's my like plan. These are my goals. And I think that's cray. I've failed so many times in so many epic ways. I mean, I've learned everything I've ever known from failure. Failure's the key to life. My adorable husband always says that I'm sort of like Ariana Grande, like a little pop sprite who has this very positive approach to life. And then the other part of my personality is brooding, and self-critical and depressive. Those are two essential parts to being a successful creative person. You gotta have both. I think like high self-esteem is the enemy of creativity. You need to loathe yourself, be tortured with the idea of why you might be a failure and try to overcome it, like at every moment. If you could just use um, Adobe Illustrator. <laughs> I wouldn't use anything that. else. <laughs> you know, we're predominantly a design studio that only uses the Adobe Suite. The Adobe Suite. Is that literally what it's called? Yes. Shut up. I can't believe awesome. it.